couple of buddies with me today. Crow, say hi. Hello. Hello. And it's Andy. Hey, how y'all doing today? You thought I was in New York already, Andy? Yeah, I, I, thought, you, I thought last time I saw you be the last time in a while. I thought you were moving to New York. Yeah. And here we are. I'm glad that we could all be gathered together here today. That's what I said. I'll, I'll do real quick, dirty out, just because I got a few guys. I had a good day, a full day today. And uh, what is the word of the Lord? Anything particular verse, Andy? Scripture, any? Yeah. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles, and they shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Amen. That's, Amen. that's Isaiah. I like that one. As a matter of fact, you look at this little ring I have. I bought it about three, four years ago when I was leaving Texas. And I don't buy jewelry, but I like the eagle. And whenever I look at this ring, I remember that verse. It, uh, and it's also spoke to me about being willing to just go, to not be so attached to everything, because at that time I felt I was leaving for good. But I felt God gives us, this, the Bible talks about, and the story of Exodus, when God delivered the children of Israel out of Egypt, famous story. But later on we read, it says he carried them on wings of eagles. When God wants to work in your life, sometimes you just go with the flow. And sometimes I have, you know, a lot of us in life, we try to get all caught up and, oh, i got to do this, i got to get that done. And, and for that couple of years, God said, don't get so caught up in everything. Just be free, willing to go, get out. That's why I have that eagle ring on. Crow, give us a word of wisdom. That's a hard uh, thing to live up to, that there. Um, but uh, we've had our three-day uh, 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 discussion uh, over there, uh, uh, standing because uh, we uh, asked them they, uh, about if they knew the one sin that was unforgivable. Okay. And, uh, and none of them did uh, the first night. And then it's like, okay, well, they're like, well, all right, well, what is it? I was like, well, you know, I'm not going to tell you. You know, It's in the Bible if you want to read it, but I'm not going to tell you. Why not? Well, with knowledge comes responsibility, and uh, and it's a rough thing, you know, in that one thing. I mean, uh, your your family could get uh, injured or wiped out in everything you love, and you could be drunk and be very mad and 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 commit the one unforgivable sin, but it doesn't matter. It's still unforgivable, and uh, so, uh, I mean, don't go looking for it unless you're willing to uh, know it, and, uh, and it was a pretty good, uh, uh, deep and then uh, uh, angry, uh, and I... It, it surprised me how upset they were that that I would not reveal it, yeah. you know. Um, so um, it, it's still a little, you know, astounding. I mean, I'm just uh, going through all the conversations we had about it, and um, and uh, each one thought they knew what it was and had good valid reasons for each one of their, but uh, that wasn't it. And it didn't, and uh, the the true sin it uh, is uh, uh, logically it's un understandable about why it is the unforgivable sin. It, uh, but um, I did not uh, reveal it, and I still haven't yet. So we are at, we are actually. I'm going to let Aunt Token say. I'm actually visiting. Uh, I'm going to brag. I brought. Actually, I, it's not bragging. I, for a few weeks, I have not seen Andy's brother Yui. We're at Yui's house right now, and I've not seen Yui, and it's been a long time. A few months, by the way. Uh, you and Andy's brother David, who I saw last week, you see David with me on the videos a lot. He fell down. And hurt his leg a few weeks ago. And then when I just got here, I said, man, I texted your brother David yesterday. I haven't heard from him. He fell down again and got about nine stitches. So I didn't realize he's pray for David. But uh, I felt in my heart about a month, two months ago, go buy some chicken and bring it to you. Uh, why? I don't just just out of, you know, something I felt I should do. So finally today I stopped at churches and. I got eight pieces or ten pieces and brought some chicken over. That's why we're here right now. But um, you could teach on the unforgivable sin. It's it's. I won't do that. I don't. I don't want to really do it. But it's interesting, Andy. You were going to say something, I think. Well, I wasn't going to say anything in particular. Okay, but you're well, always you know be instant, you know? be instant in season. You know that verse. Quote it. Be, be instant in season, out of season, to do the work of an evangelist, to make full proof your ministry. See, Andy's got the gift. But must be where Charlie gets it from. A fool <laughs> uttereth his whole heart, but a wise man saves it till later. That's right. Proverbs. And even a fool is is deemed 
as wise when he learns how to hold his tongue. Amen. That's Proverbs. I wrote that verse down. That's one I have I written like, down. I like to try to be slow to Amen. speak and quick to listen. Yeah. Because uh, if any man think of himself as wise, it says to first let him become as a fool that he might become wise. To actually say that he knows nothing. Yeah. He's only skimmed the surface of something God's revealed to him. You know? That's Corinthians. Yeah. Sometimes I add the verses on the videos. I'm one a few minutes longer, which is okay. I, I've not been with... Uh, Crow and Andy together, uh, probably in a while, and sometimes I'll run into some of my friends and I'll just see one. You didn't see Jimmy on video today. Uh, Jimmy D, I was over at his place earlier. I took a picture, so some of you all know him. That's it. I just want to do a short thing. God bless everybody, and uh, just see some of my friends today.